Hello and welcome to a, an extended 11th um, video tutorial. Now, in the previous two videos, um, we've been learning about um, reading from files and so on. Now, I wanted to uh, reiterate about something which I, I skipped over every single time because I wanted to leave it for its own tutorial um, because I think it's an important factor to still understand is that sometimes um, when you write c um, text data to a file there's some additional bytes or pieces of info that can get written that they don't appear okay and you need to be able to work out what they are and when you do start learning about how it, how to work out what they are then you get a better understanding about um, what symbols and what characters and what special characters are there um, with inside of ASCII and programming and so on okay so I think as much as this video could be skipped over it's kind of still a really important one um, to watch okay so in the previous video uh, we looped around our, um, our fopen.txt file and which we know there is nine characters in there. Now essentially there should only be nine bytes in that one file. Okay. Now if we come to the terminal you see that there is actually ten bytes in that file. Now I wrote the data to the file using um, uh, an editor in Linux Okay, in the terminal. Now and that then wrote ten bytes to the file even though I put nine characters in the file. So the question is, is what is that tenth byte? Okay, and how can you debug this to work out what that tenth byte is? It is very, very simple to debug, but if you kind of don't know where to start to work it out, then you know it's a little bit difficult. If you do Google this, you're probably going to work it out within the first search. Now, I have Googled it as well just to prove the point, and yes, you could work it out within the first few. Um, results of Google okay so it, it, it is an easily um, answered question all right but what we're going to do is going to test um, for what this char is okay and if it is the char that we want then we're going to use it if it's not we're just going to skip over it okay now so as we loop through we're going to test uh, if and we're going to use preg match in this scenario okay um, actually for people that don't know how to use preg match at this one time uh, we'll stay away from it and the first example will be the, the, the simple one, the long winded one so if char is equal to um, now we talked about backslash n you know that meant a new line put then the, the, the file pointer to a new line okay so let's just check for that first of all shall we you know and we'll come here and we'll say then um, well, we'll say x equals f tell anyway because we want that and then we'll echo out if sorry we want is not equal to backslash n we'll echo out char x so it could be the fact that it's a backslash n you never know so let's come here and let's see what output we get now uh, previously in the tutorial we got char 10 with nothing there so let's refresh this and you're like my god is a backslash n which is a new line so that's obviously the question um, answered but what about if it's other thi things now I talked previously about this end of file now the f get c returns the character and the string if it is a character or a string now if it reaches the end of file return zero uh, return false therefore if it was uh, if this magic tenth char was the end of file then it would never have executed this code because char would have been uh, would have equated to false therefore it would not have got past this point so you can rule out the fact that that one extra byte is the end of file character okay which uh, essentially is a backslash zero as well okay it's just a null character to say hey it's reached the end of the file and so on okay so we know that it's not that because it's implicitly not that because it got to this one point here because that would equate to false otherwise now 
it came from the fact that I made the file here and it, it's just Linux basically put this backslash enter the end of the file but it goes to prove that um, what about if you've got a text file with then backslash ends for every single new line and you wanted to output it as HTML now HTML doesn't understand a backslash n if you output the data as um, content type plain forward slash text the browser will understand that backslash n and it will put it to a new line but HTML won't understand it and it will just ignore it completely all right and it will just continue on, on the same line therefore at times you need to be able to test if and when something is equal to backslash n so as you can change that one character to a break tag rather than a backslash n okay so there are times to know how to test this now for the sake of arguments on this if we use preg match okay so we're doing a regular expression on this as such and we turn around and say um, that we're going to check to see whether this is a, a character all right so backslash w says is this a character otherwise a backslash d will say is it a de is it a, a number from 0 through to 9 if it is the second argument is then going to be char that's what we're testing for so <coughs> <coughs> excuse me I'm just trying to get over a, um, an illness at the moment okay so the first one is then uh, the pattern and as you see the next one is the subject that we're testing in so essentially as far as we're concerned as long as this one character is in the alphabet or in the numbers then we're going to output it now else if um, and we can say preg match and then come here and say um, backslash n that's what we're going to test for and we're then going to say then char we're going to say echo um, we've got a new line okay and we'll put break tag there as well and then we're just going to continue on reading the next char okay so let's come back to our browser refresh this and you can see here we've got a new line therefore we know that um, we can start testing for which different types the chars are now if we opened up the file once again and then went one two three new oops I'm gonna do this one two three and put it to a new line four five six seven eight nine and put it to a new line therefore now we've got three characters then a new line three characters and a new line three characters and then nothing but we've still now got see now we've got 12 bytes so we've got one two three new line is four yeah so four bytes five um, four five six plus then a new line is eight bytes okay and then um, seven eight nine and then plus this magic one so we've got 12 bytes in total okay so now if we refresh this you see here we get one two three we got a new line right four five six we got a new line seven eight nine we got a new line now if we wanted to display this exactly the same way that it was in the file okay we could just then get rid of naturally this and say echo char and because we've got a new line now we're just going to display a break tag instead so this time we're effectively displaying it exactly in the browser as it was in the in the file itself okay but it's now going to be kind of HTML compatible as such so let's refresh this come back here and as you can see now we get one two three four five six seven eight nine okay all on new lines formatted essentially in the same way that it was in the file so looping through every single character checking for which character type it is which char type in the ASCII table you then need to know right well if that's a new line I need to translate it to HTML and I'll put it as a break tag if it's a number I'm going to do this if it's a letter I'm going to check if it's something else so it gives you that that flexibility to start checking about formatting of data now it could be the fact that um, there could be another symbol in there that might not be 
HTML compatible as well and you might then have to alter that to do something else and so on all right so there are reasons why you use fgetc and you need to be able to programmatically work out what the chars are uh, and so on okay i hope this was worth it i mean i didn't want to get into this in the other tuto tutorials explaining it because you can see that this has taken so 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 long like 6 minutes or something it, it might be longer um Oh, it's 10 minutes sorry um, okay so there was a reason for this and I hope now you get a better understanding if you don't know about preg match um, then it's maybe something that you should learn um, because it's such a great um, function as well and I, I do intend to do some regular expression tutorials um, but they're very long-winded um, and I need a lot of time to be able to sit down and do them properly um, okay all right um, that's enough of this video tutorial um, I hope that you got something out of it. All right, I'm David Thorne, Thorne Web Design. Many, many thanks for watching. Um, this is the final video for this evening because um, I've had a long day. I'm going to sit down and relax now. All right, thanks very much. Um, look forward to some more videos, hopefully either tomorrow uh, or on the weekend sometime. All right, thanks. Bye-bye then.